Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Eric Shikovsky writes, You mentioned X.264 in a previous webinar, and in fact, I mentioned it here because it's one of the choices of our codex right there. H.264, X.264. I've compared the two, and I'm not really sure I noticed a difference in picture quality or speed and compression. What is supposed to be the advantage of using X.264 over H.264? It depends. This is the way most things in computers work. It depends. There's no bad choice here. If you're happy with the results of H.264, then continue using it. It's the version that ships with the compressor, does good work, it's used around the world, there's nothing wrong with using it. No one will laugh at you. If X.264 is faster, then you could use it for speed. If the color rendition, color fidelity, is more accurate with X.264, you could use it to improve your color. I tend to find that X.264 does not desaturate the image as much as H.264 does. I need to compensate for the desaturation that H.264 puts into an image. But if you're seeing comparable results and you're happy, then use whichever one you want. This is not a, a situation where you're making a mistake. Both of these are good codecs. When I'm using um, H.264, I apply a filter. And there's two filters that I apply. I apply the color correction midtone. Notice I'm in the filter setting here. And I add three units, three units of red, three units of green, and three units of blue. And what this does is this simply increases the saturation of my image, which compensates for the reduced saturation the H.264 codec puts in. And to add just a little bit of snap to the picture, I also do a gamma correction, and I set the gamma correction to 1.05, which just makes it a little bit richer, adds a little bit of vibrancy. The gamma correction's personal taste, the color correction midtone is personal taste. If you decide you don't like it or it offends your, your moral values, then by all means don't use it. But it's settings that I do use. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.